What's up guys, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Python's Realm Let's Play of Awesomeness. We're on the 29th episode today my friends and I figured in today's episode we do a little bit of a mini project which in future will serve as a great service in that what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a truffle worm farm in that we've got ourselves a whole bunch of mud blocks and we've got ourselves the dryad here of course so we should be able to go ahead and pretty easily get this thing set up all i need to do of course is uh, is go ahead and uh, terraform this entire place just a bit so in terms of how big i want to make this i'm thinking maybe like 10 platforms for for the things to go on do you, think, do you guys think 10 platforms will do it? I, I think 10 platforms will do it. The question is, where should we do it? Hmm. I feel like maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Where should we put it? It definitely needs to be in the cavern layer because I do believe that is where truffle worms spawn. So, yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's go up top real quick. All right. And what we need to do, very simply, is find where this turns into the cavern layer. Okay. So, here we go. Let's just keep a close eye on it. It's currently underground. Okay, 500 feet. Oh, here we go. Cavern layer. All right, so where does it turn into the uh, cavern? 540, 540 downwards, basically. All right, that's kind of cool. So, yeah. So this will be the place in which we could start placing down some stuff. So here we go. Let's do a little thing like so. And we need to figure out how many blocks we want to make this across. So I'm thinking maybe like 50 blocks across. So we need to go all the way until we get to 949 blocks remaining. Uh, or, no, do we want to go that far? 30 blocks is kind of cool. Maybe, should we try 40 blocks? Hello, man. I really don't know how big I want to make this. But one thing I do know is that I want to have an easy way to go ahead and obtain truffle worms. Here we go. Let's go another 10 blocks along. So we're going to go with our original plan of 50 blocks in total for the width of each of these platforms here. So here we go. This should go all the way down to 949. All right, guys, so check it out. I'm just in the process of digging out the last few background blocks, and then we will be just about ready to go with planting all of the seeds. So as you can see, 10 platforms, my friends. 10. Pretty crazy amount, isn't it? I imagine not only are we going to get ourselves a bunch of truffle worms, but also this is going to double up as a, you know, a glowing mushroom farm, and therefore we'll be able to get shroomite armor pretty damn quickly. Combine this farm with the surface mushroom vine we have already, then we're going to have ourselves a pretty serious amount of glowing mushrooms going on, my friend. So, counting the bottom one as a platform, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you really want to count this top one as a platform, then I guess technically we have 11. Which is pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, man, things are looking good. Things are looking good. So, for these ones, I imagine what we could do is just, like, spread them around instead of just putting them all next to each other. I only did that one just to, just to confirm that I got the width correct. So, here we go. All right, four bits. And there we have it. All right, guys, so we now have an artificial underground mushroom farm slash biome, which is awesome. So, all we need to do now... Wait, do we have a rare creature detector? I actually don't think we do. Do we have a traveling merchant? Oh, we do have a traveling merchant. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's 4 p.m., which means it should still be daytime, and therefore he should still be there. Wait, where the hell is he? Oh, wait, what the heck? What are you doing up here? <laughs> okay, apparently he's a... Uh, Aiden is a tree hugger, or a tree climber. Hey, man, I got nothing against tree huggers and tree climbers, dude. That's amazing. Uh, what do we got? Tiger skin, some more food. Uh, do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some of this, because why not? All food is good food, right? Ah, yes, gotta love some uh, generic buffs. What else have we got? Sake, stopwatch. I don't need a stopwatch, I don't believe. Uh, damage, but movement speed. Yeah, we, we don't need that. We've already got it. Okay, so we pretty much don't need anything from him, in fact. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, so, yeah. Now we should be able to just go up and down and just keep finding trouble worms. Because in today's episode, I would like to attempt, at the very least, I want to attempt... Duke fish run. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with the covenant weapon set and armor that I have, but if so, then that'd be kind of awesome. Alrighty, so anything, anything to speak of at all? Doesn't look like it. Do you know what? I'm feeling like we should just go ahead and buy the rest of the mushroom grass seeds and just force it along. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get that done. Let's try and get some uh, truffle worms to spawn in. Ah, dang it! The freaking dryad was just slain. Well, bugger. All right, well, now she's going to have to spawn in again, right? <laughs> God damn it, dude. Why? The dangers of having a dryad and a mushroom biome. Everybody else just manages to get to her and kill her. That's moderately annoying, actually. 
Ooh, check it out, my friends. Our first victim. Get in my inventory. Check it out, my friends. Our first truffle worm of the series. Hey. Oh, man. That actually really didn't take long at all. Like, literally one minute after the last cut, and we managed to get one already. And all I did was stand on top of him, one just spawned below. That's that's kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah. A fully functioning truffle worm farm. Sweet. Oh, damn, dude. I wasn't expecting this. There's a freaking hat. Wait, what the hell? Hey. A freaking. What the damn hell? I don't even get it, man. What the. What the hell is going on right now, dude? Oh, this guy. Man, he's like. Oh, I wish I could go through walls, man. I'm actually. Ah, no, 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 no. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm gonna take you out with my uh, with my eye Cthulhu yo yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, son? Go on, man. You're a freaking joke, dude. Go on. Oh god, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Huh, come on, come on. Two thousand twelve. To... Really? Why are you do this? He literally just goes through the damn floor. <laughs> I wish I could do that, dude. Ah, oh, the powers of of hallowed mimics. And what is that? An illuminant hook. Yes, we got an illuminati hook. Awesome. Hey, man, that's a pretty sweet upgrade from a Skeletron hook. I didn't even realize that's all we had. <laughs> all right, well, whatever the case may be, I'm pretty happy about that. Sweet. Oh, da Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a whole crap ton of people in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, those little mini fungi dudes do a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, no, no mushroom terrorists. You're not taking me out of the game. No way. All right, who else wants to go? You want to go, son? Go on, get out of here, you joker. No sign of a truffle worm? Darn it. Oh, boy. This isn't going to end well. Oh, okay. I recovered. <laughs> hey, Medusa! What you going to do? Oh, get off me, bro. That's what you deserve. You deserve to fall down there for freaking freezing me in my own elevator. That's just rude, man. Ah, victim number two. Oh, damn. Check it out. A magic lantern. Summons a magic lantern that exposes nearby treasure. That's badass, dude. I'm putting that on. All right, Shadow Orb. You've, uh, you've done me justice for the longest time now, but I'm afraid your usefulness has just been replaced by... What the hell? He's purple? Oh, right, that's right. We've got some dye on that guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, can we put the dye on anything else? Maybe our trousers? Wow, that ba that barely... Oh, my God. I look like an idiot. Nah, I kind of like I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Yeah, the, 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 the sun mask. It's kind of awesome. I like it a lot. Victim number three. Oh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> I thought my titanium armor three dude setup was gonna like scare him off or something, but nope, I got it. And here we go, my friends. The final truffle worm I'm gonna get in this particular session. So here we go, five truffle worms. A pretty damn good start, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy with the amount that we managed to get today. So let's go ahead and uh, chuck away all the blocks and all the other stuff that we have on us. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start buffing up, getting our whole shaboodle of stuff ready so we can go ahead and uh, take down the uh, take down duke fish one well hopefully take down duke fish one should i say anyway uh i might go ahead and just put these away for now let's put them in there uh javelins i don't know if i'm gonna use these can i like quick stack them into a nearby chest oh okay uh, oh wow look at all the marble blocks we got huh we could totally make a build out of all of that that's kind of nice <laughs> All right, so you can go in there. We've got the worm. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, quick stack our money real quick. Oh, that's right. We've got these things to open, haven't we? The hollow chest and the corruption chest. Ooh. Ooh. I'm almost thinking that opening these would actually be a good idea before doing Duke Fish Run because, uh, well, at the very least, we'll be able to get ourselves the Scourge of the Corruptor, which is indeed a very, very good weapon for Duke Fish Run, especially with the homing projectiles. It is, uh, it's very much worth getting. So I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and put the worm away real quick. Uh, let's put away the greater healing potions. Uh, what have we got? A magic power? Yeah, might come in useful in terms of the clouds. What else have we got? Shine potions. Don't really need them. We'll take the thorns potions. Iron skin. Uh, regen would definitely be useful. Danger sense. Uh, mana regeneration. I don't think we're really going to need that, to be honest. Uh, right. Okay. So these are the five buff potions we have on us currently. I don't know if we'll be able to make many more, but uh, I guess we'll find out in a little bit. But before we do anything, we are going to head over to the dungeon. And we are going to open up some... 
freaking biome chests. It's going to be awesome, my friends. I can't wait to see what kind of scourge corruptors inside the chest. I really hope it's like a godly one or something. That would be super awesome. Or legendary. That would be even more awesome. Oh, I'm so hyped. And not only that, we'll get ourselves a, uh, what is it, the rainbow gum? I don't think, I, I don't really use the rainbow gum that much. I do know that it's pretty damn good uh, against the uh, against the waved invasion. So things like the pumpkin moon and the frost moon on early waves on a very flat surface. It's very, very good against them. So, I don't know, we could maybe get a mage setup going at some point. But for now, we're sticking as a, a warrior melee because, you know, we're just doing the most amount of damage with it. So, yeah. Anyways, to the dungeon. Oh! There we go, my friends. The start of the epic drops. We've got the armor polish and also a rocket launcher. What kind? Unpleasant. Okay, so we've got more damage. And, well, that's pretty much it. Wait, what was the other stat on it? More knockback. Yeah. I'm never too fussed about knockback. I'm more interested in, like, crit chance, damage, and speed more than anything. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's uh, get this guy killed real quick. Oh, damn, son. All right, these guys... Uh, these guys are a bit on the uh, dangerous side, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, whoo. Well, I guess, uh, you know, kind of a two... Oh, damn! Keyboard. Kind of a two birds, one stone deal. We seem to be getting a whole bunch of ectoplasm as well, which is kind of badass. I will definitely go ahead and roll with that and not complain. All right, hello. Hi. How you doing down there? Go on, all of you, get out of it. All right, you're going to give me a Nazar, right? Come on, bud. Come on. I don't know if I've got a Nazar in this series just yet. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, uh, what I'm looking for is the, uh, is the, oh, what's the chest I'm looking for? The hallow chest, because I haven't actually found the hallow chest yet in this one. Oh, god damn, what the hell? There's two of these ectoplasm dudes around. Oh, man. That's kind of cool. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. Oh, god damn. What the hell? How many ectoplasms? 19? Make that 20? That's pretty crazy. Damn, dude. And I'm hearing corruption music as well, which is a good sign because it means I could double up with the ectoplasm farming and also, uh, you know, farm out a whole bunch of souls. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so it looks like there are indeed still some uh, unexplored... Oh, still some unexplored areas of the dungeon. For example, right below us. So uh, I guess uh, now would be as good a time as any to go ahead and explore it. Because I imagine that the remaining hallow chest is going to be in here somewhere. So... Oh, and there it is. <laughs> Found it in an instant, my friend. Oh, what the... Wait, was that... Was that two necromancer dudes? What the... Hey, don't you freaking trap me, you son of a gun. Alright, so here we go. Oh, that's right, we need to get the keys out first. Dope. Alright, boom. 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 Alright, can I, like, quick stack anything? Uh, eh, pretty much no. Alrighty, so here we go, my friends. Let's open it up, and it is going to be a regular gun. A regular one. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, no! No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. Can you, like, not, please? I'm trying to, like... Really? Can you go away, please? I'm trying to uh, go through what I've got in the chest here. Alright, so... Eh, not too bad, not too bad. I'll definitely go into the chest itself. And yeah, I already know where the corruption chest is, so let's make our way over to it real quick. Alrighty, that didn't take long at all, did it now? So here we go. Let's get... Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, where are you off to, bud? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, superior! Not bad! Not freaking bad! Right, we'll chuck those away, we'll chuck the glow sticks away. Uh, we'll put them away. Ah, oh, there's a guy about to come down. Oh, go on, and you wanna go, son? I'm ready for you. My ass is ready. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, you wanna go? Oh, oh, ectoplasm! Yeah, give me that. Yeah, I deserve it, buddy. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got? Uh, danger sense, I'll take that and I will chuck away... Um, I don't know, the arrows real quick, platinum bars, always useful, we'll chuck away the potions, and of course, dynamite, might as well use that, I mean, why the hell not, alright, and that's just gonna blow a bunch of crap up, alright, that's right, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> I always forget that it doesn't blow up, oh, what the hell, a kraken, holy crap, we're getting all kinds of cool stuff today, uh, chuck away the bombs, uh, night out potion, do we re really want that, I don't know, throwing knives, Regular chest? What do we want to chuck away? I have no idea, man. Oh, let's chuck away that. Alright, so now we're good. We are now good, my friends. We've got ourselves a really, really good weapon here. And I am super happy with it. Hell oh, yeah, my friends. Really, really happy indeed. Although legendary would still probably be better, though. So, hmm. Okay. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a bunch of inventory management. Get myself some potions. And then I think I'll meet you guys over by the uh, by the ocean biome. So, yeah, let's get it done. Alright, Grodax, so here's what you're going to do for me. You are going to give me something even better than superior. I know we can get more damage from this thing, I really do. Plus 9% is nothing compared to demonic! Oh, damn, son, that's a lot. <laughs> 
98 damage. I imagine with Ruthless, it might go to 100 damage on the dot. But honestly, the plus 5% crit chance is super awesome. So we're going to go and use that. And here's what I've got going on in terms of the accessory. We've got the Ang Shield, which is 7 defense within itself. We've got the Angry Worm Scarf, which reduces damage. And we've got more damage being dealt because of the uh, because of that. So, oh, yeah, we're back. We can re replenish that real quick. Uh, warding? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll take warding. So we have a grand total of 62 defense. Senex's wings. Uh, Spectre boots. Maybe something better. Menacing. Yeah, buddy. 101 melee damage. That's just brought it over. Damn, dude. Uh, what have we got? Spiked fire gauntlet. Maybe something better than that. Uh, hard. Arcane. Rash. Lucky. Jagged. Come on. Come on. Give me... Uh, warding, yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. I just wasted most of my goddamn money on that. What the? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Grodak, sometimes I do despise you and your business practices. Ugh. Why does he do this? Why does why does he torment me so with all of these uh, freaking things going on? Ugh. Oh well, let's get over to the uh, let's get over to the uh, desert. Not desert. Let's get over to the uh, ocean and set up a little arena to get the, to get this thing done. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've made a massive, massive platform with two levels. This one here is exactly 30 blocks up from this lower end here. And basically, as you can see, along the way, we've got some uh, we've got some little regen stations going. We've got campfires and uh, heart lanterns, of course. So we should have health regeneration pretty much throughout the entire fight. So yeah. And the good thing about this entire biome is the fact that there's basically two places where we can spawn Duke Fish Run. So what we're going to go and do is let's go ahead and get these going real quick. We'll get ourselves a another pair of twins or oh, not twins uh, the deadly spheres there we go alrighty so the question is what kind of weapon should we use should we use the yo-yo or should we use the scourge of the corruptor both weapons are going to be absolutely amazing look at this 171 melee damage god damn that's craziness right there dudes all right so we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a go We'll see what happens, and then from there we'll be able to see what kind of stuffs we'll need to amend, if anything. So here we go. Let's go and get this thing going. Let's buff up real quick. And Duke Fish Run, ladies and gentlemen, in expert mode, hard mode 2. This is going to be pretty crazy. All right. How's it looking? Oh, we lost 5k health. Interesting. All right. Maybe we could just keep, like, dodging and weaving like this. Oh, there we go. Things are looking interesting. All right. How about this? Should we see how this does? Ooh, interesting. Not doing bad. I'm not entirely sure how this will... Oh, no! Oh, the nados. The nados. The nados might actually be the things that kill me. Well, to be honest, they almost always are. Ouch. All right, there's a bit more damage. All right, and bob and weave. Bob and weave, baby. Keep it going. All right, how are we doing? Oh, whoa, did you see that? Did you see that big cluster bomb of damage I just did to him? Holy crap, dude. All right, here we go. Ah, back and forth, back and forth. Keep it going. There we go. Doing pretty well. When he stays still, that's when we're going to do all the damage to him. Oh, wow. I've accidentally... <laughs> I've accidentally made this platform exactly high enough to the point where if the NATO spawn on the bottom level, they won't actually get me. That's actually kind of badass. I did not mean to do that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, things are going to get tasty now, my friends. Things are going to get super tasty now. We're going to have big-ass nados on our hands. Oh, damn. All right, this is going to be really quite difficult, I do imagine. All right, here we go. God damn, dudes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, the bloody sharks are on me. Huh? Nope. All right, we're still doing pretty good in terms of regen, though. That has to be said. All right, there we go. Uh, Bob and Weave. Oh, god damn. I just took like a heck ton of damage there, my friends. I'm not entirely sure what weapon I should be using. I really don't think that the Scourge of the Corruptor is doing enough damage per second, unfortunately. Which really does kind of suck, considering it is one of my favorite all-time weapons to use. I do imagine that this is going to be the death of me now. Oh, god damn. I don't think we're going to have it this time, my friends. Oh, come on. If we get it this time, I'm going to be so amazed. Like, literally amazed. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave. Oh! There we go. Come on. Come on. 28 seconds. If we could somehow survive for that amount of time, we, m we might be okay. Whoa. Okay. 20 seconds. Ah, oh, there he goes. 144 damage, dudes. God freaking damn. 144. 
Which means four hits of that caliber will kill me straight out. Holy damn son. That is a lot of goddamn damage done against me. Do you know what? I'm not mad at all. I am literally not mad at all because considering that was our first run and we were only using titanium armor as opposed to beetle armor, that was not a bad run. That really wasn't. I think we almost got him to third stage. I think third stage by itself would have like ended me just straight out. I really do think it would have ended me. That would have been the end of me even if I managed to survive up until that point. So yeah, honestly though, I'm really quite happy with how that went. We did not do that bad. So... Hmm. I'm thinking now in terms of weaponry. I mean, we were doing damage pretty decently, but I'm not entirely sure which one was doing more damage. I may have to look back in editing and look at the damage per second counter and see which one was doing the highest average amount of damage and then try to go ahead and use that weapon from there on in. So, yeah, I think the Seedler is pretty much out of the game. I don't think that's going to do much damage against them at all. But these two weapons here, this is what I'm looking at. I just realized I didn't use my, uh, my Nimbus rod either. But then again, that probably wouldn't have done a great deal of damage difference either. So... Hmm, interesting. But like I said, I'm pretty happy with how that went, my friends. So, we've got a couple of options. We can go ahead and we can try to farm out for some beetle armor in the next episode. Or we can go ahead and go down the shroomite armor route. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. Oh, check it out. We've got it. We've actually, we don't even need to farm out for turtle shells because we've already freaking got them. Oh, god damn. That's pretty freaking sweet. So, in which case, we just need to farm out some chlorophyte. I mean, either way, if we go for shroomite or... You know, beetle them. We're going to need to farm some chlorophyte. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we go for Shroomite or should we go for beetle armor and go from there? Let me know in the comments area below, my friends. But on that note, it is going to be time to end the episode. I don't normally like leaving things on fails. But, uh, you know, I think uh, I think, I think, think getting some feedback from you guys would be uh, super awesome. So, let, let me say, well, like I said, just go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comments area below. But, yeah, my friends, like I said, time to end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and you're excited for more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. We super appreciate it. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos are out. But thanks for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.